CBS News has learned two of the three major private prison companies here in the U.S. donated a half a million dollars combined to President Trump's inauguration committee. But Jamie, the U.S. Department of Justice says this decision is all about giving prison officials the flexibility they need to manage their facilities properly. Hmm, interesting. So what are the benefits uh, or who benefits really the most here, the U.S. government or these private companies? Well, I think initially, if you're looking at the overarching impact of this, you know, the U.S. government will probably benefit in the long run because they have some flexibility to manage their prison populations, okay. although that is down right now. But if you're looking at the ground level of, of who is going to directly impact from this right now, I mean, there are nearly a dozen facilities, private prison facilities across the country that had hundreds and hundreds of employees that were worried they were going to be out of a job as um, as soon as, you know, January came around or as soon as their their contracts were up. So I think right now what you're going to see is an immediate impact for these private companies. Additionally, since the election, though, I will say that there have been there has been a huge increase in these stocks for these private prison companies. Mm. So I think on several different aspects, we have seen these private prison companies benefit. You know, what I learned in your piece, though, is the Justice Department doesn't actually have many private prison contracts. So what is the Trump administration hoping to achieve here? We well, you know I think critics would say that this is a situation where both the Immigration Department, Ho Department of Homeland Security, along with the uh, uh, Bureau of Prisons, they go hand in hand in this situation. Obviously, we've we've heard President Trump talk a lot about deportation, about new immigration plans. You know, the question is, is where are we going to put these people once we bring them into some of these uh, detention facilities? And so, you know, uh, these private prison companies, while they may be at capacity or there is some wiggle room, I think that is how we are looking at, at, at the benefit here. We are looking at the ability to grow the prison population uh, if there is a potential that we could see some adages, adages by these um, uh, immigration and deportations that happen. Okay, we'll have to see how this all gets sorted out. Maria Villarreal, thank you very much. Thanks, Jamie.